What's going on guys? It's me, your faithful host, Let's Play Dark Souls HD, and we're now in episode 4 of our first playthrough of Dragon's Dogma. The show goes on. So, this guy had some really badass rings. I don't know that I'm going to buy them. I don't think I'm going to at the moment, because we really don't need the added power, right? Like, we don't need the additional damage, or like, so far we're doing okay, it feels like. We don't need the additional poise either, because the whole point... Don't do that, day-night cycle. When I saw that shadow overtaking this building, my first thought was, DRAGON! God. Anyway. Today I woke and looked outside again, but the sky looked the same to me. Hell no, bro. The first game's unforgettable. Oh, there's the bitch that shot down my griffin. I'ma wake up in a bed, right? If you would face me. Oh shit, it's Grigori. Yeah, bro, let me get a piece of that. So I feel like this is probably gonna go about like it always does, right? Just like in the first game, you know. When I do my thing, and do some damage to him. Oh my, look at me, I'm literally non, like, negative chunking his health, and I feel like my sword is adding health to his bar. <laughs> this is ridiculous. All right, so if I know anything about fighting Grigori, it's that we need to get to the heart, right? That's what That's what we need to do. I don't think I have enough stamina for that, though. Let me just climb past your balls here, dude. It's fine, right? Everything is fine. Except it's not. Right, hold on. Oh, yeah, I don't have stamina items. I can't. No! All right, I'm exhausted. <sighs> Let's get our stamina back. What's happening here? He's blowing fire. All right, let's try this again. We're going for the heart. Almost there. Yeah. <laughs> that was easy. Oh, bro, whoever shot that offended him. Oh, it's her. Bro, he barbecued me. Oh my god.
I have goosebumps. Can you hear me, sir? Sir, stay with me. Is it just me or does she look like the chick from Blade Runner? The new one with Ryan Gosling. The hologram chick. I don't know her name. Yep. Thank goodness. How are you feeling? This is the second time I've watched over you like this. Isn't it? Oh, that's creepy. You do not remember? Then have you forgotten that you protected me from the dragon's flames? Oh. Look, I... It wasn't personal. Like, I was clearly a soldier, like a guard. I would have protected anybody. Don't let it go to your head. Please don't... Oh my god, she's in love with me. Damn it. Stood the fire in my stead and were well and truly charred. It was terrible. Oh, you don't say. I had thought your life forfeit. I could not hear the beating of your heart. But you hung on and by some miracle survived. Yeah, she's one of those chicks. She's one of those. She's already she's already read my horoscope. She's looked at the astrological signs. She knows the stone of the day I was born. Yep, she's she's one of them. I seem to have become arisen. <laughs> arisen? I'm afraid I don't understand your meaning. What is with her facial expression? This is kind of cracking me up. I kind of want to sit here and see how long she can hold it. Does it have aught to do with why you were taken to the castle? They said it was so that your wounds could be treated. Though I fear you have no memory of this either. Look, honey, the only thing I remember is you giving the order to kill my mount. My griffin? Hello? I may not be able to remember anything, but I bet you can remember that. I am of the Border Watch. Someone with origin-like abilities came to this village calling in code. No you ought to be. Has he come for you? We are to part so soon, then. Mayhap you will visit me again someday. You see those eyes? Well, then. Take care. Do you see the way she's swooning? I'm telling you, dad bods are in. Arisen. It's too bad. My heart belongs to another. Ah, excellent. You must be the one. You match my soldiers. I'm glad I found you. So, I am not going to nitpick here. Like, this isn't a complaint. This is just something I've noticed. What the hell did that guy mean by somebody with Arisen-like abilities? I didn't do anything special. Like, nothing happened. The ruler of Vermin, currently convalescing in the capital, became Arisen here in this very village. If you claim the same, then word must be borne to the capital. I dispatched a missive before coming here, though I doubt the matter can be settled without your presence. Would you be willing to accompany me to the capital? If you truly are arisen, you will be received with open arms. Oh, but forgive me. I scattered my soldiers in a bid to find you. I would not depart without them. We shall have to wait till they are reassembled. Come to think of it, Sir Lennet was asking after you as well. Mayhap now would be a good time to speak with him. Last I saw, he was having a drink at the inn. Is that the guy that shot down my bird? Hmm. Okay, so we have signs on the the buildings here. That's, I guess this is... The apothecary, sir. Oh, no. I'm not lost or not, sir. You needn't worry yourself on my account. I'm an apothecary in training, you see. So when I had medicine, okay, an apothecary and training in medicine and stuff. I get it. Cool. But I didn't actually talk to you. So I'm gonna need you to shut up. Alright, so what's the other one here? I see... Is that swords and stuff? No. Gurin! Stop trying to get my attention by waving like a maniac! Um, wait. Where the hell did it take me? 
it like brought me to the I guess I woke up in the center of the village right hello you look like from the pawn encampment I recognize you well met. Looking to make a oh no never mind you're like a you have similar hair all right what do you have these are consumables. All right. Ring of deflection reduces damage taken from slash attacks. Oh my goodness. So there are damage types in this game. That was kind of not a thing in the first game. So in the first Dragon's Dogma, it didn't matter if you were using a mace or a sword or what. Damage was just damage in that game. It was split between either physical or magical damage, essentially. And this... I guess confirms that there are certain damage types split in the physical side of things, which is cool. Like, Hope to see you again. I'm pretty thrilled about that. So we're going to have to remember that she has that ring if we ever become interested in that. I'm scared to go in any direction because... Hello, ladder. Because if we, if we talk to people, or if we go past people, it's going to automatic... Oh my god, that animation of me scurrying up the ladder is incredibly funny. Ores? Thank you. Oh, I'm heavy now. Great. But, um... I don't want it to automatically engage me with people. I don't want that. Uh, that doesn't weigh much. Sorry, chicken. You have to be my suitcase for now. For now. I'm not going to give you that, because then you'll use it, and I don't like that. Okay, this is heavy. Definitely need to dump that. Um, And we got fully rested, which is good, so we're fine there. Can I pick up these arrows? No. Not that it matters, because I don't have a bow. Good lord. Don't jump over the edge, pal. So, this... Looks like a fantastic opportunity to go find a chest or something. It's kind of hidden away. Possibly a Seeker's Token. Who knows? Find out next time on Dragon Ball Z. A fluted bow. Not that I need it. Alright, you know what must happen. Oh, we can't break. God, they're just for show. You're a phony! All right. Um, there's got to be a reason to go down that ladder. So we'll do that in just a second. This is the... This is the contraption that shot down my griffin. Seeker's token, I knew it. See that? You see? You see? Can I operate this thing? I mean, shit, this would have been real useful against Gregory. Wait, how do I... There we go. Aim it down. So, who or what should we shoot? I don't see anything. Do you think if I aim high enough, I can hit the guy with the staff <laughs> from here? <laughs> All the way back in the beginning of the game. Um... Wow, this thing is slow, and I have my sensitivity turned all the way up with aiming, so... Perhaps they're just trying to emulate some realism here. Like, it very much would be difficult to aim something like this freely. Something that can take down a griffin in one hit. I don't see anything that can be shot from here, so... I guess we're out of luck, but... No harm in just taking a peek. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, there really is nothing. We can't hit anything. I wonder if we can shoot one of these people. Seems like a great idea. What's that guy doing? All right, we're doing it. Um, don't know who this guy is that's leaning against the wall, but... Maybe we should do that. Oh my god, stop it. 
Come on. I just had it. Is it not going to let me? Is it seriously? There we go. This thing is gonna turn to him. It's gonna turn him into like red mist. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, <laughs> he's dead. <laughs> oh, they're all dead. <laughs> oh, you have to go blind all the way back. No, stay. Where are y'all going? Okay, 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 okay. Um, let's reload our save. It was fun to experiment and murder innocent people, but hey, I mean, we're not supposed to do that, right? We're the Arisen. There is no character tendency in this game, really. I mean, there, there kind of is, but I don't know. All right. He's alive. Good. So let's go down that ladder that we noticed. No! God! Don't do that. My butthole just completely tightened from that. Alright, this looks like a very easy to miss spot. Little area hidden away. Are you... You know what? No. Because you won't learn anything. It's like that episode of Family Guy. Whoa, we got all those tomes. Nice, we can go visit the girl now. I feel like the episode of Family Guy where Peter tries to turn the stairs into a slip and slide just by shooting hose water down the steps. And then he gets hurt. Severely hurt. And Brian says... I'm not taking you to the hospital. You won't learn anything. Alright, what's... Can I go in here? This is where I already was. But there's... Salubrious Drought in here. And then... We went... Down. Right? Yeah, this is where we were. This is the house we were. Yep, there's the chick that's obsessed with me. Um... See if she has any cool shit we can steal. She does! Yes! Wakestone Shard. Alright. I'm not gonna need that. I'm not gonna get got. Alright. And we're gonna disappear out the window again, like Spider-Man. Alright. Have you had time to think about what you've done? Are you gonna be stupid again if I revive you? Think wisely. Think hard, good burger. Alright. Let's jump down here. Let's pick up this green warish. Oh man, I've never been so glad to see green warish. Because I do be getting sloppy in this game. I do be getting hit a lot. And I don't mean to. But we're learning, right? We're learning. We're figuring everything out. Just playing the game. Why do I feel like my camera gets uncomfortably close? I have it, like, maxed out on the settings. It is as far away as it can possibly be. Is that money? No, those are explosive arrows. Not that I need them, but I'm going to take them anyway. Because if I end up switching to a class that can use a bow, which... Oh, Lord have mercy, do I hope that there's a hybrid class that can use daggers and bow in this game. That would be pretty sick. It would be highly preferential. Um, all right, so we did all of that. We we did not go into the very bottom of that place though, so not to ugh, not to waste too much time. I promise we're gonna get down to business and actually start progressing, but I do want to see what's in the base of this place because we 
We did not look down here. Nothing conveniently hidden back here? Hmm? Guess not. That's okay. I'm trapped! Okay. Yeah, I learned from my Elden Ring playthrough not to ever say I'm stuck because people say funny shit. Like, step bro to the rescue. Bunch of weirdos. All right, let's go down here. Let's sneak into this place now, <laughs> through the window. Oh, I can't. All right, that's fine. No, you. Yeah, hop that fence. Okay, what's this? A noon bloom? Okay, so there's like, there's blooms for all the cycles. There's more than just moon, moon blooms or whatever they're called or day blooms. Now there's noon blooms. So it's like there's a flower for night, the morning, and the afternoon. Okay, what's going on in here? Hello. Scrag of beast. God. Sounds like an insult. I'm like, what are you looking at? Scrag of beast. It would be like a Rolf insult from Ed, Ed and Eddie. Stale and piece of white bread. Well met. You're the one who saved Ulrika's life, aren't you? Ulrika, that's the name of the girl that gave the order. So you, sir, have officially given me my target's name. She told me all about it. It was a very brave thing you did. And clearly a mistake because she killed my bird. I'm in your debt. Ulrika's as good as my daughter. Here. Consider this a small token of my gratitude. If it's not her head on a plate, I don't want it. Now, tell me, are you registered with a guild? A, a guild? A, yeah, I'm a monster hunter player. Perhaps you already know this, but registering with a guild will grant you access to specialized training, which comes in very useful when pursuing a vacation. Hello. Well, now, that won't do. You need only speak with the innkeeper to register. Go on, it will only take a moment. If there is aught you wish to know of vacations, mayhap I can advise you. Okay, so we can't change them here, but... Should you dedicate yourself to a vacation, you will find that new paths to master will open up to you over time. Try them, as you like. But that didn't... It is a vacation for those who seek to master the dagger. Such blades lack hair. Thieves favor light armor which leaves them more vulnerable. Their talents depend upon their finesse and ability to compensate for the length of their uh, Very well. There is no wrong. But I shan't take up any more. All right, fine. What, did he give me money? He gave me EXP. No, he did give me money. He did give me 2,500 bucks. All right. She lives for now, but only if you keep paying me. All right, what do we got going on here? Can we steal any of this stuff? I am a thief. It's literally my class name, bro. I'm a thief. I steal things. So this is where you've been. Come with me to the village entrance. The watchhead's waiting for you. Um, the watchhead is the person that they mentioned back at the outpost, right? So I guess we're finally meeting that person. Oh, I have to follow the dreaded bull cut. What in the world? Do you even know where you're going? I'm not done exploring. I feel like we're missing out on things, but probably is a good idea to just start moving. Okay, we are back at the center of town again. Is it you? No. Ah, you've returned. Good timing, too. I have questions for you. First and foremost, will you accompany me to the capital? My thanks. Are you ready to depart, or do you need some time to prepare? Um, I need time. Very well. Speak with me once. Because we have unfinished business. There's uh something I gotta go take care of. You know what I mean? Oh shit! The inn. We really should have. While we were back there, we should have ditched a bunch of our items and cleaned up Ernstnord. It's fine. We're not actually gonna be gone for very long. We're only gonna cover just a small stretch of land here. We slept, which means these goblins should come back. Right? Oh, come on, man. God. 
I really gotta quit skipping cardio. I mean, I really feel like I could run longer than that. Like, me, for real, in person. I mean, shit, I do it every week. Three times a week. I do the high-intensity cardio. Alright, you know what time it is? Come here, bitch! Yeah, I was right. They take additional damage when they're on the ground. That's sick. Come here! That's amazing. How very thrilling. And I like how you can just examine their bodies instead of looking for the bags. Alright, what's in here? You stay away from my chest, Charlie. Oh, the fruit. Roberant. So that's like a, a super healing item. We already picked up one of those. So, I wanted to go this way in particular because um, there was a spot, right, that I noticed from, from over there, essentially. The, if you remember in episode two, I was, like, looking across the river. I was like, how the hell do we get over there? Uh, we were right here, as a matter of fact. Because this is where we found those crates and everything. Chicken was smashing them open because she has something against boxes, apparently. Um, harpies. Oh my goodness. Roasted poultry. Let's get it. Get down. Outstanding. Oh my goodness. What? No, I didn't... Oh man. The only thing that sucks about circle being the button for literally everything in this game. It's just like... Everything is circle, circle, circle. <laughs> How do I get up there? Oh my god! I didn't think it was going to drop down. What is that? Oh, it's just a little crevice. I thought this was like, you could fall down and go into a cave. That was about to be scary. Is there a damn cave? Oh my god, there's a cave. Wow. Okay, so that's pretty funny. I love the way that... I love the way video games kind of do that to you. Um, these guys have the shields, so we can probably knock them down, right? Yeah, there we go. Oops. Yes, yeah, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Dang. These things don't stand a chance. See, there she goes. Look at that. What do you have against wooden containers? Okay, the parching concoction, which parching sounds like water, right? That's what it sounds like to me anyway. Um, I'm not even going to try to scale out to those cliffs. That just looks like absolute death, but we are going to go up here, though. Um... That was needlessly theatric. Ol, theatrical, right? Um, and then it even wraps around there. God, this is... Okay, I thought this was going to be like a very brief side area. I didn't think this was going to go this far, but I ain't mad. I'm not complaining. I promise. We're going to go up this way, and then we're going to do the cave. Good lord. And I'm glad we're covering this stuff before actually going to the capital, because... I have a feeling it's going to be a pain in the ass to get back here. If we're going to the capital, it's probably going to be far away, because they said this game was four times the size of Granzis. Four times! And Granzis is not small. It's quite massive. What's that? Okay, I want to go over here. Let us check every single cliff, even though all of the cliffs in this game are covered. They're freaking doused in extra virgin olive oil, as you guys saw. Is there really nothing up here? Come on. I would imagine that... Ooh, strawberries? Yep, 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 yep. No! Those are mine. Alright, 
What about here? Oh yeah, there's like a spot where we can push boulders off, right? Yeah, dude. Crunch. All right, let's go. Time to go into this cave. Oh, somebody already cleared the path. Good. Keep your eyes peeled, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, this is so cool. Like, these are actual ravines, as in, like, you could, I guess you could theoretically get into this cave another way via above, right? Well, that was the shortest cave of all time. Boss was freaking easy. Alright, what is up here? Nothing crazy notable, yet. So what are these big statues? That's something I've kind of been wondering. Like, what are they? Can't interact with them. There's like a... The head of a wolf or something is what that looks like. I don't think that's a dragon. And why are their heads... Gone? Unless that is the head. Is this supposed to be like a griffin? Okay, what are these piles? Can we search them? Okay. Moving on. Wow, this is not very exciting. It's like there's no reason to explore. In this particular instance, at least. I mean, like, what are we supposed to do? <laughs> Get up there. I mean, this... I would imagine that it's this, right? Like, this... This statue is the reason we would come up here. That's what I believe. Oh, wait! You can interact with it! Tis a magnificent view. The landscape seems to unfold in all directions, revealing its secret to the patient observer. Secret? Revealing its secret to the patient observer. Um, okay. Observe with me. Observe with me, y'all. I don't see anything. All right. I'm going back down. We didn't get far. I thought we were actually going to have, like, a cave. Like a cave cave. With angry stuff and loot. But that's okay. Instead, we got, like, a... A riddle. Uh, I'm probably just going to end up being like the fat guy in Mallrats. I just want to see the sailboat! God, that's a cryptic reference. I'm old. You. Halt. State your business. We've orders to keep this gate sealed till the watch is given. Okay, so that must be the way to the capital. Say less. What's this? What? I thought she was about to just fall into the brine. I was like, you know what? I'm not going to rehire you. <laughs> Alright. So, that was significantly less eventful than I thought it would be. Can I go through this door? Is this like a secret way in? No. Northern Vermin Checkpoint. And we can't go through. So... I guess we would have gone this way anyway had I told the guy I was ready, but I'm glad I didn't because that gave us an opportunity to do some more fighting and good lord, man. Get your freaking inhaler if you have to. So you know what we're going to do now? We're going to head back to the village and still going to tell the guy, no, we're not ready yet. We need to do some serious inventory management before we even think about going to the capital. Is it raining? There's weather? 
Well, I'm a fan of that. What's this? Oh, it's one of the dead harpies. It was shining brightly. I thought it was a snow harpy for a second. So what's going on over there? We've not been over there yet. I know we haven't, because I can see a I can see a chest we haven't opened. It looks like. I wonder how you even get to that thing. That looks like that looks pretty dangerous to try to get to. But those I mean those look like redwoods to me. That looks like somewhere would, that you would run into like a Camaro. Alright. Come on, chicken. Let's roll. So we've basically cleared the path. That's good. Um, it keeps giving me these reminders to give that girl in the woods the grimoires. We're going to do that. Don't worry. Just not right this second. Yeah, I know. I know. Running is hard. It just doesn't seem that ridiculous to me. Like, because what I will do, like when, when I'm doing regular just cardio stuff on the treadmill, I will do a full-on sprint. Like, I'll dial that thing up to, to eight or so, and I will stay on that for two minutes straight. Wait a minute. We couldn't go this way before. There was a bunch of rubble in the way. Why is this unblocked now? Huh. Okay, this th it was keeping us from... Okay, I understand. I get it. Totally. Alright, is this the end? Pretty sure this is... Yep. Leonard's house. Hello. Give me that. <laughs> Just freaking robbed the guy. Man only had $300 to his name. Been there, dude. Been there. All right, where's the inn? Is it this? Right? Yes, 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 yes. Talk to me. Um, we're going to storage. Deposit. Yes, we need to get rid of a lot of this nonsense. I'm carrying too much of it. Wait, why did I do that? Okay, we don't need our super healing items. I don't want any of these remedies. I don't need any of that stuff. We will keep that because it cures everything. Literally everything. Um, a dried flower. Don't need those. Definitely need lantern oil. I'll keep that. We'll keep that for healing. Keep our wake stones on us, because, I mean, if we collect more of them, I think three shards is what makes a wake stone. Um, who died? We lost somebody. That is incredibly funny. I'm going to hold on to these because they're so insanely light and they will increase our equip burden. Um, nobody uses the arrows, not in my party, except for Charlie, and I'm about to hire new people anyway because we are beyond his level. Uh, these are heavy as shit. We're gonna put them away. We will keep two of them. Just in case we need to mess around with magic damage, right? Anything could happen. And then we'll put away all of our materials. Jasper. So there's... We don't need that anymore. We don't need to carry these. I'm gonna put those away for now. We're gonna need to we're gonna need to get them out anyway because of uh the quest line with the guy that wants the weapons. Okay. Did you need something? Um and then now we will do this. We'll get Sorry, don't mean for maintenance to take up the whole episode. I promise I don't mean for that okay chicken she's gonna stay relatively heavy because of the camping kit not much we can do about that 
Um, the hunter's bow. Oh my god, I remember that weapon. The hunter's bow or the hunter's bow is so freaking good, dude. It's it's like the bow you you hope you will get from that chest in uh, it's in the catacombs, I think. All right, so we're going to ditch Charlie. Well, but we may as well get rid of all of his stuff then, right? Instead of transferring all of this, and I'm just going to take those. All right. Um, so let's look at our skills, shall we? We can upgrade to Cutting Wind. Oh my god, it's going to take all of our points, though. Ignited Blades. Longer lasting effect. That's all it does. It doesn't really change anything, though. All right. Smoke screen. Oh, my goodness. That sounds... That sounds valuable to me. All right, what's foot pad? Kick off walls? Um... Didn't realize I needed that in my life. It's kind of amazing. Uh, what's gratification? Slightly restores health when you deliver the killing blow of a foe. Oh, wow. That is worth more than all of the others. Hands down. All right. So we are almost halfway through the thief. What's available to us? We can't... We can't do anything differently. All right. Check in. Uh, she's got 1,600 points. What is this? Gouging skewer. Oh, wow. That, that looks barbaric. I love it. Shield pummel, shield summon, springboard, impeccable guard. That's kind of cool. The Enchanted Counter, what's this? When using Defend while Enchanted, automatically counters one element attack. That's cool, you can do passive damage. Increase the likelihood of being targeted by foes. Um, sorry, chicken. You're going to be targeted. So I have enough left to get an ability, and I think I want to give her... Spins nimbly on the spot, blocking attacks from every direction with the shield. No, nah, she doesn't really need that. She needs more offensive abilities. Yes. So we're going to get rid of... I guess the shield bash. Yeah, we'll give her another sword attack. Do come again. Yes. Hello again, sir. What? Say, have you brought some fruit rubber in for me? I mean... One second. Don't go anywhere. Oh my god, the way he's looking at me. <laughs> god, I'm just like, look at me when I'm talking to you. Look at my balls. Alright, where's the fruit thing? There it is. Always a pleasure. <laughs> is it? Was it a pleasure for you to talk to my nuts, dude? Um, where did the girl go? Where are you? Where have you gone, creature? God. That's how I talk to kids. I'm terrible. Okay. So, a ring of exaltation? Isn't that the starting ring? No, it's not. Wait, you can equip... Only... Okay, it's only two rings. I knew it. Boosts maximum health. Um, Yeah, we're going to replace our defense one. Because more health. And I'm going to keep on... I'm going to keep the Havel's ring on, for sure. 
Okay, what's this? A noon bloom. We already looked at that. And then I have stuff I need to get rid of. Wait, Gurin is still here? We have our first freak out of the episode. So why wasn't she on the menu? Oh, thanks. Uh, you shouldn't have. Hold on. I need to. Here at the inn, I get so few customers, you see, that I can manage both roles myself. There. Now I can see her inventory. That was so weird. Just put away all the materials. There we go. Wait a minute. Did you need something? Combine. There we go. Let's see what we can do. Oh, sweet. These all make the same thing. Okay. This will... Quenching syrup. Huh. Cures blighted debilitation. Covers health. Health. Wicked. So, yes. Let's try to get rid of this stuff. Oh, nice. We can combine fruit. No, we don't want to do that. This. Bam. There we go. We're condensing our items. <laughs> Here we go. Sweet. No, we don't want to do that. How about this? Cool. Lantern oil. Oh, tarring arrows, so we can set shit on fire! Alright, but we're not going to. Do come again. Nice! So, now... Oh god, we're carrying so much shit! We don't need all that. It put it in my regular inventory. <laughs> that was a mistake! Um, I thought it was going to... Cure Drench, we don't need that. We don't need that, it's a super heal. Don't need that. Um, or that. And we sure as hell don't need 23 of these. <laughs> Let's just keep 10 of them, shall we? That'd be fine. Cool. But enough of that, me. And Did you need something? Do come again. We are light again. Thank you. Where is the rift stone? Thought it was over here somewhere. Could have swore it was. There it is. So we're gonna do this, and then we're gonna go to the capital. You. You're fired. What? I'm not sending you home with anything. You're a nerd. You get a Morningdale. I mean... You're an official pawn. You don't belong to anybody. You're an orphan. Nobody wants you. All right, Charlie, you high-fived me. You were wicked, but you're fired. Somebody else applied for your job asking for less money. Sorry, it's not easy running a business. So here's what we're going to do. Um, I don't think any of these pawns belong to my friends because... Pawns that belong to your friends 
I think you can hire for free. I have a lot of rift crystals, though, so I can afford to hire just about whoever. Lion. Bossu. I kind of want to hire that guy. But I also kind of want to hire a warrior. Nah. Chicken is going to end up being a warrior. I'm going to switch her. Wanda! Who is this Dracula looking dude? Udrith. Oh, I think it's a woman. Oops. Alright. Here's what we're going to do. Um... I don't... Oh, good lord. The levels just go and go and go and go and go. Wait, what? Alright. Search. Uh, friend spawns. Here we go. So these are all way too high level. Unfortunately, I can't do that. Um, why doesn't it say the name, the username? That's what I... Here we go, username. Oh, there's, there's Christopher. <laughs> uh, and hello, all of you who are friends with me on, uh, on Steam. Jesus, man. Okay. We're going to search levels 10 to 12. Sure, that'll work. Um, it's only going to cost me 68 Rift Crystals. That's stupid. All right, let's do this. I can hire two that are... Oh my god, no. Come on, come on. Oh my god. 17, right? Yeah, there we go. Or 18, yeah. There we go. And... We want to search for a mage, somebody that can know a sorcerer actually. That was much better, and an archer. Okay, this shouldn't take long. Oh, I thought it was going to bring up like a list of them. It's going to make them show up. All right, Eldria, you look solid. Kota, nice underwear. My Paul. <laughs> what a ridiculous name for a pawn. Paul, that's a person's name. A person's name. A Paul. You're coming with me. Fantastic. Boots, you look like a member of Salvation. Um, Geralt. Um, female Geralt of Rivia. Mocha. It's a cute name. Who else is here? Lulu. Morrigan. Ooh, King Arthur lore. I like it. Uh, Martus. What else we got here? It summoned a lot of archers. So I think I'm going to go with Mocha. I don't know. Lulu has a cooler staff. Morrigan also has a really cool staff. I don't know which one to pick. Damn it. All right, I'm going with uh, going with my gut here. I'm gonna go with Lulu. All right. Lulu had a baby. His name was Tiny Tim. 
She put him in the toilet to see if he could swim. He swam to the bottom, he swam to the top. Lulu got excited and she flushed him down the pot. Okay, let's rock. That only took an eternity. The wind is pushing me into the current again. You. Oh, God. We're next to a well. Is it going to be like Cassardus? You're going to send me down there to fight Saurians. As you can see, we're rebuilding a task that can always benefit from another pair of... What say you? Would you be willing to help? Excellent. You're a good sort. Here's what I need from you. A bask of Saurians has made their nest outside the village. Though they're yet to cause any harm, they're... I'd like to enlist your aid in driving them away. I've prepared some explosive casks and left them by the village entrance. Okay. Can I... Break this and go down there? That would be ideal. Um, alright, so... I guess we could do that first, right? Like, it's not a big deal. Make haste, then. On. What? Very well. Speak with. Get out of here, man. I got stuff I gotta do. All right, where are the explosive barrels? Here we go. I gotta pick these up. I didn't learn my lesson from the uh, last episode. Hey! <laughs> Fuck y'all, couch. Buy another one, you rich motherfucker! <laughs> Did he spit at me? Come here, pal. Gotta send you to the water. No. Oh, I missed. Okay, is he gonna sit there and just spam loogies at me? Like... Oh, I wish I could reach you. Damn. Alright, we're gonna have to go kick his ass. It's fine. Because it doesn't look like the barrels are respawning. Here I come. You're gonna wish you had just been exploded into the brine. Paul. <laughs> he can do that. Oh. Did you just freeze him? Well, that's amazing. A Saurian scale. All right. Cool. So you know what I'm going to do? Um, I guess we're going to check with this guy, and I don't know if it's a good idea to rest till nightfall before we do this nonsense, but... Are there any goodies through here? We didn't really look. We weren't super thorough. I was not actually looking in these buildings. Probably should have, right? All right, y'all probably can't see. Sorry, I did it. Well, that appeared to finish the job. I'd have you drop a jar of poison into her nest. With any luck, the Saurians will realize that they chose a perilous spot and steer. But pray, take care not to drop it in the river. The village, you must make sure your aim is true. Are we clear? Good. Find the jars of poison just outside the village. Toss one into the Saurian's nest and your task. What? Again? Fine. I guess it's not a big deal. It's okay. Oh. 
Make haste then. You. We must leave Anon very well. Can't you see I'm trying to poison shit? All right, where's the the nest? Is it? All right, I guess I'm carrying this. I mean, it is that, right? Like, that's the nest, isn't it? Hold on. We don't have to do this. We don't have to struggle. <laughs> um, nesting troubles. Here we go. Bam. Okay, make... Toss one of the jars of poison when it prepared into the Sarian's the Sar nest. Yeah, that's what we're supposed to do. Where is the nest? There's no marker on my map. Oh, I see it. It's a... It's... Well... I guess we can go over there and finish the job. Are those phantasms? Oh, Lord. Better put this down. They're skeletons! Yeah! Ow! That dude's blink strike went so far. Can't use that. Can't use that. Here we go. Oh, my goodness. Come here. Bone daddy. Dang, man. Okay, cool. Scrap iron. Sounds about right. What? No, do not. We do not vault over the poison. I just understand. This is the poison for Cusco. Poison chosen specifically to kill Cusco. Cusco's poison. All right, the poison. So, can I run? I can! You can run while carrying things. How very convenient. Uh, this is the nest, right? Like, am, am I crazy, or... Okay, yeah. That'll show them. <laughs> Damn crocodilians. So we found... Oh, God. Oh. <sighs> Anyway, we found our first nighttime battle. Pretty sick. Skeletons. Not to be toiled with. I mean, you guys saw that thing's blink strike was like, boom, chonked my health down. Where did you go? Oh, I wasn't looking at the map. <laughs> Leonard. You've done as I asked. I must say, you've a fine arm. I could, watching you got me thinking. <laughs> or perhaps there's a little... In any event, um, thanks to the work you've done for us today... Make haste, then. Wicked. Just leave on. Very well. Speak with me once you... Okay, so we got... Yo, I'm talking to you. Alright, um... I guess we're good, then. Let's look at our inventory. We're okay. Our inventory is good. We're fine. Paul, what is that? Ring of aggression, boost strength. Okay. Um, I guess it is time to go then. Sweet. Let's do it. Oops. Make haste then. We must leave anon. Good. Then let us. All right. So we're taking. This road, and I'm actually kind of glad we're doing this at nighttime because all we saw before was dragon or dra dragons. God, thank God we didn't see dragons. All we saw before was goblins and harpies. There wasn't much on the way up here, but maybe we'll run into something dangerous at night. That would be kind of cool. There shouldn't be anything but dead goblins at this point, but maybe more skeletons. Maybe zombies? That'd be cool, Is if there's undead enemies in this game, because I really liked... I hear that. I have Sennheisers on, dude. Nothing's gonna get past me. I can hear all of it. 
Um, I really liked the undead enemies in Dragon's Dogma. Like, there were several different types. They all were different. Now... Does nobody else hear that? Like, I can hear footsteps. I can hear the pitter-patter, the rustling. It sounds like skeletons. Okay. I kept thinking that this was going to be some, like, dramatic, you know, slow-paced sort of thing like in the first game, where you have to guide the ox cart to Grand Soren, but that's not the case. We're very much just, uh, sort of a hiking up this trail. <laughs> Hold here a moment. I shall bid them open the gate. Yeah, you do that. Open the meat hall. Who's that you've brought with you, Watchhead, sir? An arisen, by all appearances. An arisen? Another pretender, you mean? I see the Sovereign's ascension has done little to stop such charlatans from plying their trade. It is uncertain. This one commands the loyalty of the pawns. What? Impossible. You know as well as I do that there can be but one arisen, and he's up in the palace. I'm well aware of how preposterous the idea is, thank you. However, as I do not believe it my place to rule on such a matter, I would make my report to the captain. If the claim is false, we will be rewarded handsomely for our trouble. If the claim is true, however, who can say? Mm-hmm. All's been arranged. Come. I see. Now, this is just me spitballing, right? Like, just a little bit of foreshadowing. Something tells me in this game there's going to be the Arisen, and then there's going to be a bad Arisen. And I don't mean like the first game. I don't mean like the Duke, Edmund Dragonsbane. I mean a legit evil Arisen. Um, so there was an ox cart, but it's gone. Something tells me I might have to wait till daytime. I see a chest. Hold your horses. I see multiple chests. Oh, money. My, 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 money. Money. All right. So there's supposed to be an ox cart. Okay, it looks like the game is going to have me camp and wait until daytime. I'm not going to hire anyone that comes out of that. Okay, thank goodness. Uh, no. Absolutely not. Nope, we're not picking that up. Tell you what we're going to do. And I'll tell you what else we're going to do. I'm going to cook up a nice dinner for my pawns. Hey! I'm glad you guys are able to join us for dinner. Nice to have you in our party. You came on a good night. We're having aged beast steak. Look at all those pluses. Gentlemen, enjoy yourselves. Look at that. Now, for all intents and purposes, I get it. That's supposed to look delicious and everything, but can we just take a second to notice the lack of marbling? That is an incredibly lean cut. Probably came from a bison. All right. Has everybody eaten? Did you enjoy your plates? Side of potatoes, dauphin wall. Let's rest till morning. All right, everybody looks good. They all look like they've had their coffee. So, here's what we're gonna do. As much as I would like to continue, um, we're about at the limit on this episode. I know you guys prefer the longer uploads. You guys seem to like the hour-long uploads, but I don't wanna go too far past that. So, all right, hell of an episode. I think it was pretty eventful. We have a new party. We uh, don't really have any new skills. We did get that, didn't we? Did we get the... No, I did not get the jump. Okay, that's fine. Um, we are definitely going to want to do that, though. I guess as soon as we get to the capital, we'll get some more skills and stuff. 
and hopefully find some better armor so we won't be as squishy, but I think this was a solid episode. We covered a lot, we did a quest, ran into a familiar face, right? Some Saurians. All we did was throw exploding barrels at them, but I think things are really going to pick up when we get to the capital in the next episode. So, thank you guys so much for joining me on episode 4 of Dragon's Dogma 2. I've been your faithful host, Let's Play Dark Souls HD, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. <laughs>